Gregory Small with RunTheTriangle.com here with Mr. Jeff Ayers out of Etiwanda High School in Rancho Cucamonga. That was where Ice Cube and uh, yes. Mike Evans went out when his dad hit the lottery, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's what they based it off of, yes, sir. You're here with the Los Angeles Clippers, and you're going to the playoffs, competing for a championship. Tell us how it's been going from the D League into the NBA and the highs and the lows and where you stand now in your career. Uh, it's definitely been a roller coaster. Um, the unpredictable, never know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. But, you know, it's really good. It teaches you perseverance and, you know, you just got to keep your nose to the stone and just grind it out. And when opportunity comes, you know, they're always watching. So you know, as long as you stay working hard, be a professional, you know, good things will happen. What do you think was your most positive influence playing in the D-League? Uh, just getting some playing time for me was the biggest thing. Get on the court, uh, being an on-the-court leader and not just, you know, a locker room and, and bench leader. Uh, having to be in the in the game during crunch time, my teammates depending on me, uh, just that pressure, that si- just being in those type of situations that you couldn't recreate. You know, for me, I wouldn't have been able to double anywhere else besides you know in there. So you know, that's really good. So I feel like when I come up and get some playing time, that I'm going to be prepared to play. I'm ready to play because I've gone through everything that I've gone through in the D League. I've noticed over the last few seasons that a lot of Southern California, Los Angeles, Southern California area players have been emerging in the NBA. You know, most notably latest with Russell Westbrook out of losing your high. Paul George. Paul George, yeah. you know, uh, the Compton guys, Tyson Chandler and Aaron Aflalo. What do you think has happened with Los Angeles City high schools that they're now producing so much more NBA talent than they did maybe in the 80s and 90s? I think... Uh... I don't know. Maybe a lot of people from the East Coast got tired of the weather and they came out to the sunshine. So, you know, right. it could be a mix of things. But I feel like, the, uh, like my generation and kids, you know, like I played against most of those dudes in high school and college. So hey, we're just now getting into, like, the prime of our NBA careers. So that's why those names and all these guys are starting to pop up. You know, got people from out here know how good these guys are. We're recognizing their skill since they were in high school. You know, and now we're just getting that time to where, you know, SoCal guys get to shine.